Hi, I'm Bob Magnuson, and in today's video I want to show you some recording techniques for recording the baritone sax. Today I'm using this wonderful RS Berkeley baritone OA, and uh, I have an Auto Link number seven star old slant signature rubber mouthpiece for those that are interested in that. And uh, I always like to use the baritone on a stand so that I can get the right mic placement. See how many inches I am just within a hand's reach to the microphone on the angle where it's coming out right into this diaphragm. Okay, now this way when I overdub, I can walk to the computer, come back, and always be in the same place, so the axis is always the same. Now, for saxophone players, when you're playing a low A, a low A is really, a really strong note, by having it on the stand, whenever I go to a low A, I can turn it, and then just come right back to the passage, and just angle the bell so that certain dominant notes won't overwhelm the level and I can leave the level the same. Okay, now I'd like to show you an example of uh, using the baritone in a recording. I'm doing this project for some singer. Uh, producer sends me the track, Tweezy Horns, really cheesy brass at the moment because it's a demo. So here's the track. <laughs> So how can I work with that? I, here's just the baritone part added. No effect, just dry. And that sounds good, that's the part. But does the timbre, it's an organic instrument, does the timbre match the timbre of what's there? No. Not to me. So what can I do as a player to make my part stronger and better? This is what I do. I double the track, and then I put an octave effect on it. So here's two baritones. Split them, left, right, and an octave pitch shifter on one of them. Okay, you got the idea now. Here's the track alone again, just for a second. Okay, now here's everything of my part that I'll send back. I'm 10 times too loud, but it'll give the producer something to work with. So hopefully that's a helpful tip for you, uh, for a lot of people that are recording at home as well as professionally. Uh, just have fun with sound, so I hope you are too. Thanks.